Hola, amiga. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien, espero. ¿Qué? Tú también. Es un gran nuevo día. Oportunidad. Celebramos y seamos feliz. What did I just say? Hello, friend. How are you? I'm doing well. Hope you are too. It's a great new day. An opportunity to celebrate, to party, to enjoy and be happy. I don't know what you're going through today, but celebrate that you are in the land of the living and you have someone who walks with you, who is right beside you. And it's not only the 12th month of the year holiday season, but every day we have Emmanuel. So I hope you're doing well. Listen, I, I, I've, I've had some conversations with some people and I said, listen, we have to have as a foundation, as the bedrock, as the bottom line, something that the world is in need of. What is that? Something we hear the opposite as a headline, front running story of so many news stations, programs, 10 o'clock news, five o'clock news, six o'clock news, all the foolishness, all the darkness, all the negativity. What is the one remedy? Yes, love. And every day is love day. I'm not talking about Valentine's day and sweetest day. I'm talking about love. And who is love? God is love. Mm -hmm. He is the light. So we are to carry that love. You know, the half the, the majority, I was saying, of the crimes, of the, of the mishaps, of the discipline issues, is because people are trying to seek significance, approval, acceptance. Now, a lot of times, Yes, it's biological and maybe neurological, but the majority of times people, maybe children, did not feel a type of unconditional love. We're wired for that. But listen, our Heavenly Father is the only one who can fill those spaces, those empty spaces. No alcohol, no weed, no dessert, no gambling. What's well, some things that my students say that they're addicted to no cell phone no social media no posts no fortnite no video games oh there's something else no minecraft so much they have but listen it's not only the children and young adults and teenagers it's the old folks we have different filler uppers the quicker filler upper what is yours you know maybe like i said we go to a substance or a liquid or whatever. But listen, only God can satisfy. I, I'm here to tell you, he is the only one who can fill those empty spaces. Well, in John 13, talking about love, verse 34, a new commandment, <laughs> Jesus is speaking, I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than the one who had laid down his life for his friend. That's the greatest love. Well, he said that we are to love one another as the Lord has loved us, that ye also love one another. By this evidence, the proof, by this, Shall all men, shall all women, shall all teenagers, shall all young adults, shall all children, shall everyone know that we are his, that we are his followers, that we are his disciples. Only then, if we love one another, we could talk the talk, we can proselytize, we can brag, we can say, oh, I did this, I gave this, but... What is that? We are just tinkling instruments, brass. We're just making noise if we don't have love. And we know we hear that scripture a lot in, in, the, in the special love events, weddings and everything. Well, 1 John 
2 5 says, But whoso keepeth his word, when we follow the commandments, when we follow his way, in him verily is the love of God perfected. So we're, we're not going to just say, like, Oh, you know what? You know, grace will erase. You know, I'm going to do what I want. And, you know, that's no. You are called to be different, to be the love and the light out here in darkness and in hatred. <laughs> Keep his commandments. Yes. That's how the love of God is perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. In him is life. <laughs> no other source. People are looking. People are searching. People want to actually see reality. We talk a good game, but what are we doing? Galatians 5 to walk in love as Christ also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior, savor, fragrance. So like I said, we should be able to sense it with our, with our smell. We should be able to, ooh, wow, that's sweet. Ooh, that's lovely. Versus, oh, that's a stench. Oh my goodness, when they come around, it's just like, eh, eh, eh. right? People should be able to see it. They should be able to hear it. They should be able to smell that love, right? <laughs> That's the only way, and not only hear it, oh, I'm this and that, but every, every sense should be able to bear witness. They should be able to touch it, yes. And with that in mind, we would have gone to Psalms 3, 33, 63, 93, 123 and I'm sure in Psalm 63 it will confirm yes that we thirst after our love of God and because we thirst and we're filled verse 5 our soul shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall Praise thee with joyful lips. In my hands, what I touch. In my eyes, what I look at. With my ears, what I listen to. Because I am filled with the love of God. Okay, so. Let's see what will reinforce this beautiful love. What the world given us another opportunity to spread your love love is patient love is kind love does not envy it doesn't boast it's not selfish it's not proud Woo, father lord we ask you to fill us with your love and your light so we will be the silent witnesses so all the world may be able to experience your love in the name of jesus we pray amen